price for this freedom at times has been high. But we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. The sloping hills of Arlington National Cemetery, with its row upon row of simple white markers, bearing crosses, or stars of David, they add up to only a tiny fraction of the price that has been paid for our freedom. Everybody, one more time, a huge thank you, United States military! Without them, where would we be? Guys, thank you, gals, thank you very, very much. One more time, please. Thanks a lot, guys. Fantastic stuff. Amazing. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, guys. It's so nice to you. Everyone here. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Wheel of Freedom. My name is Phil Marie. Without a guest this week, last week, uh, well, not last week, two weeks ago, we had Maui, and yeah, it's how it is. So, um, anyways, yeah. So tonight is all about, as you see, the clock out there, ninety-four-nine birthday party. So. I have a couple other videos, and it's going to eat up about three quarters of the show. And uh... <laughs> jeez, I even got a uh, a round of applause. I I like that. Jeez, that was that was cool. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, so did that video make any of you, viewers, did it make you angry? Enough where you would want to sit there, push a button, and start zapping me, shocking me in the head, right? That, that hasn't happened, let me tell you, in like almost two weeks since my visit from the, from the people you never want to visit you, but yeah. They, they have not hit me in the head since, and it started last night when I burned that video onto a DVD, and it has not stopped all day, so I went on a Twitter rage, and for good reason, because I cherish my mind. That's the only thing I have going good. rest of my body has aches and pains from these weapons, so uh, yeah, so anyways, that's what's going on. I'm going to try not to spend much time on this. Anyways, Stuff. we've got to keep the videos rolling. This next video is of uh, Mike Gallagher. It's like five minutes. And, uh, and let's see this birthday surprise that Lee Elsie puts on for this guy. So, Reg, can we run that? Mike so Gallagher. Everybody, sing happy birthday to Mr. Gallagher with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. The place was so packed. I, I um, on the third video I'm going to show. You, you can. <laughs> I'm holding this heavy video camera. I didn't want to be rude. I could have been rude. Brought a tripod, blocked everyone's view. So I was trying to uh, fit in with the crowd and whatever, and be polite. So towards the end there, I, I, I noticed on the video a little little bit of shaking and whatever. Hey, my arm was uh, getting tired. But what a, what a great time. One thing I do want to mention that's really bothering me is what just happened today. Um, Reg Camera 3. And by the way, my printer, I got a lot of weird crap going on my computer, so I couldn't print nothing out. It's been good like that for a couple of weeks, but this is really bothering me. Uh, this is an article from Breitbart, March 20th, not even a month ago. Twelve French churches attacked, vandalized in one week. And uh, it just, you know, the media is not 
not allowing anybody to speculate that this was arson over at the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. That's, that's still burning. So anyways, thanks, Reg. It's, it's really, really crazy. And, and Savage said 20 churches have been set on fire in France in the last couple of years. 20 churches. So, uh, and then I saw one, one, one tweet from CBS News, I think it was, and it, it actually made me cry. I couldn't believe it. It, w it was a list of relics or uh, treasures that were in that, potentially in that, was uh, a piece of the cross they believe that Jesus was crucified on, part of the thorned crown, and one of the nails from the crucifixion. I just, boy, my hair stands up. I Boy, if we're ever in the end times and, and, and you see this stuff going on, oh my goodness, it's uh, so sad. All, all this uh, ruin, destroying of all the history throughout the world, even our own country. As a matter of fact, how many churches have been burned in our country here? Christians are being persecuted throughout the whole world. And America's traditions and history are being erased. It, this world's going mad. I'm sorry. And then the biggest threat, as you guys know, is this whole thing with China. And this technology is so creepy, the 5G. Nonetheless, let's get back to the 94.9 birthday party. This, this next video is the uh, panel. All right, Mike, I'm going to ask you. Immigration. Trump handled this the right way from the beginning? Well, it's, it's a real tricky issue. It's very complicated. There's a lot of nuances to it. The president, is there anybody on the national stage who you could envision would be fighting as hard as he is to try to secure the border? No. Nobody. But now, elections have consequences, as everybody up here knows, and we're up against the House of Representatives that's going to say no to everything that he, he tries to present. So here we go. I'm running out of time. I don't want to get into tweets. I don't want to get into all this hell I've been going through. But what I do want to mention is Palm Sunday, yesterday, that is when Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem. Friday, Good Friday, is when he was crucified. And then Easter on Sunday is when he rose again. So, in saying that, I would rather focus on Jesus instead of focusing on Satan's works of all these people hurting me. So, therefore, I can only think of one thing, and that would be Ray Charles. Oh, happy day. So, I think we have just enough time to squeeze this in. How about a little oh, happy day? When Jesus... It's all right to put your hands together.
mí. I could, I could watch that for hours. Oh, happy day. Just remember, on Good Friday, this is, this is what it's all about. Right there. All right? So when all of us suffer in life and Satan uses people to hurt other people, just remember, Jesus is in charge. He's in charge, and he's coming back. He's coming back soon. You look at all the churches, everything being burned, all this stuff going down. Yeah, the Lord is on his way, amen. But I wanted to end on a oh, happy day note and not get into these tweets and all this hell I've been going through because that's what the enemy wants me to do. Instead, I'm going to drive home thinking, oh, happy day. So listen, have a wonderful Good Friday. Happy Easter, and I'll see you next Monday, and then uh, we will pick it up, pick up the pace, and uh, who knows what we're going to do, but I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. So there you go. Thanks for watching. God bless all the viewers. God bless America, and good night.